I've a few supplies of fighters likely to need. I Play shield.
thank the gods, somebody, somebody finally came. Tell us, are you from Gorehart or Dryden Hill? How many warriors travel with you? It seems you're not the assistance we requested, but don't think me ungrateful. I could... Uh, Kanarok could use someone of your particular skill. I'm doing my best to save this town. I'm sure you can see that. The old forest is home to countless spiders. I've heard of a time when it stretched from here to Odorath. Legends say that there was even a terrible wraith named the Widow who ruled the spiders. But such as for children's tales. The town was built for those who made their living harvesting silk from webwood. Though dangerous, we had the bridges and magic to guard us. Unfortunately, that seems to have stopped, and we don't have the people or the defenses to hold out indefinitely. Those that make their living taking the webbing from the wood so we can process it. Most of them didn't survive the first spider attacks. We sit on the border to Webwood, most of us silk farmers. Normally, we rely on our bridges and an ancient summer fay aura to guard us. But of late, what defenses we have are failing. These monstrous spiders strike at us from all sides. They've even gotten as far as Yolven. A week ago, a team of hunters was led by the village's chief defender, Barton. We need someone to go find him and his party. Good. I have more information to give you regarding Barton and the hunting party. But let's not give anyone false hope. And these townsfolk are growing hysterical. Meet me on the southern bridge and we'll continue our discussion. He is too new to our village to have already given his life in its defense. But I fear it may be too late to save him. They are a strange, mincing people. No sense of themselves or how others perceive them. They're just too caught up in their own nature. Good hunting! I need you to meet with me outside of town. Until then, let's keep this cordial. Unless... Do you have news of Barton? Have you... Good hunting! Hello, again. Hello, again. Speak with me a moment while we're away from... Kenrock is looking to me for leadership, and I'm more than happy to give it to them. However, if Barton returns, that all evaporates. Let me put it this way. It is for the best that he is dead. Do you understand? Barton has survived worse than this. I want assurance that he won't return to rob me of my newfound status. So here's my proposal. Confirm that Barton is dead, whatever it takes. I'll pay well for your help in this. Unlike Barton, I have some sense of what leadership really requires. Good hunting!
Stay back. Wait. An owl name? By the widow's mercy, who sent you? Have you word from Canarok? I thought I'd find a nice place to retire. But before I could even look at a farm, this trouble with the spiders began. The spiders make their home in these trees, corrupting what should be a sunny place into a twisted, winding ruin. But Webwood wasn't more than a nuisance, until now. Seems like Canarok is beset by the whole damn forest, and we're not winning. It used to be a place for easy money when the Fae pacified the wood, but lately things have turned worse. I'm the only one left. My men and I were ambushed when we entered the cave. It's as if the damn spiders set a trap for us. These spiders are somehow using strategy, tactics, simple ones, but enough to overwhelm us. I think... I think someone is leading them. It's all over this cave. Footprints, torn webs... But no body. Could be the Bloody Widow for all I know, but Canarot needs to be told. <laughs> I don't know who you are, stranger, but I did not survive these spiders to get cut down by a fool.
That you return alone is but a confirmation of our worst fears. Barton has fallen. Another dead husband for the widow to claim. For your part, we reward you with Gossamer End, one of the few houses we have left. Billis Ade, the town blacksmith, will make alterations you may deem necessary. I suggest you get yourself accommodated with your new quarters quickly. I fear I may need to send you to Castle Yolven. The Summer Fair held a small garrison there, with which they kept the dark nature of Webwood suppressed. I don't trust the Fae enough to ask for their help. But if the secret to taming Webwood lies in Castle Yolven, then that's where we must look. It's a tale as old as Canarok. Older, as I take it. It's said Webwood has a guardian, a lady that oversees the webs and darkness. The old forest is her legends say that there was even a terrible wraith named Solution. The castle was held by Fay in ages past. It said that they used their magic to bring peace to Webwood. It allowed us to settle here. I have little faith that the Fay will help a mortal village such as ours. But if there's any hint of how they calmed the wood, we could make use of it. Be quick, will you? 